Well, Thanksgiving is this weekend, so for the rest of the week, we're bringing you some fresh ideas for family celebrations. We start today with Charmian Christie and some stuffed peppers. Great to see you. Thanks for coming in. Thank you for having me. Now, Thanksgiving and holiday meals in general are carb-loaded, so this they is are. something that is spicy and tasty and won't make us feel too yeah. full. This has got um, quinoa, which is a whole grain that has a lot of protein and it's high in fiber. It's got black beans and a little bit of cheese and some corn. So all together, this is actually a complete protein. So whether you eat meat or you don't, you get a full protein and then you don't have the carb loading it when you just skip the turkey. Right, now yeah. what about the process though? I mean, it looks like it might be a bit difficult. I mean, these look great. I don't know if I could do that. You can do that because what the, traditionally what we've done is we've taken a pepper and we've set it down and it wobbles and falls and right. you cut the top off and you have to pull it out and then when you put it in the pan it falls over and if you stuff it too much where it touches it doesn't cook properly right. and the outside's cooked. So what I've done is I am, as I say on my blog, I'm lazy and messy. Right. So what I do, I'm going to give you this, okay. is I would simply cut it in half horizontally. The only trick is you just want to miss that little bit there on the stem. So we're going just right yep, there. Just cut it right in half. And now what you can do, you can see it's very easy, I can even give you a second knife if you want. It's very easy to simply take out the ribs and the seeds. Okay. And I've got a little pot for you. You can cut it out, you can just pull it out with your fingers, whatever you like. And then just do it. Yeah. And Actually, if you pull them out with your fingers, it's easier. easier you won't pierce the skin. Because okay. one of the things that you don't want to do is you don't want to cut the pepper and then have everything leak out. Right. So just give that a good Let's whack. Get the seeds out. And there you've got a nice pepper that will sit reasonably well in a pan. Yeah, it's a lot that. easier than just having try pulling it, to, it out do this with your one fingers. too. Okay. Yeah, just, that is how I yeah, normally right do it. There. I just thought Oh, you're trying to be knife, neat. Well, because the knife was there, I thought I, I thought I would attempt. Yeah. So, okay. you can do that with the pepper and just give it a whack and you've got a perfect little cup that will go into the pan and once it is filled, it'll cook. Now, beautifully. this guy's a little This crooked. one's a little wobbly. That's okay when you put it, but you can butt that up against the pan. Okay. So it's not a big deal. Right. And it also is much easier to fill. This is some of the filling that I pre cooked, and this is the same filling here. And we'll tell you where you can get the recipe in just a oh, moment, the too. So, on the blog, yeah. um, th this is exactly what? Uh, this has got black beans in it, it's got quinoa, it's got onion, garlic, chili powders, all sorts of southwestern. Um, it looks a little gloppy there. It actually looks, <laughs> no, it is it edible. Better honestly, in real life it looks than better it does in real life camera. on there. So what I like about doing the peppers this way, it's How easier full? to fill. Just fill it right Just up. Fill it right up. You get a higher filling to pepper ratio, and I am all about the filling. Oh boy, look at this. Yeah. This looks really good. Yeah, it's also got some cheese in it, and you can make this as spicy or as mild as you want. Perfect. See, so you've done it. And so then uh, you said you can put some cheese on top. What do you, you do, do with that this? At the you end. put it in the oven for how yeah, long? Yeah, you put it into um, um, a 375 degree oven. You want to put foil over it. Put it in for about 35 minutes. The other benefit is if you do them cut in half this way, they cook in about 35 minutes versus an hour for the other version. Hmm. And I am always hungry, so I don't want to have to wait the extra time. Right, exactly. Um, when the peppers are soft but not falling apart, you take the foil off, you sprinkle each one, you can see here with a little bit of extra cheese, pop it in for another few minutes, and you've got a really impressive looking uh, stuffed pepper. Yeah, that looks good. Now, Cheese I like hides a lot of sin, by the way. Right. <laughs> Just cover it up with that. Yeah. Um, I was worried about things falling out, and that's usually what happens with a rice or something like this, but because of the consistency, yeah, that's it a, actually, even if the pepper tips, you're okay. It's and, not falling And when you cut it, it doesn't fall all over the place either. And when you put it in the pan, it will actually sit up right. okay. And is this yeah. a knife and fork meal or knife is this an appetizer eat with your hands? You, it's a little too big to eat with your hands. You could get little teeny tiny peppers and, and do them as appetizers, but right. when they're hot, they're, they're a little bit messy. But they can be served as, an, as a complete meal or they can be um, one of the sides. Okay. So you could have your turkey and your potatoes and this on top with vegetables or you can have this as a meal with a bit of salad. Fantastic. Yep. If you don't like red peppers or green peppers at all? I, I actually have a friend who hates peppers. I don't know how she gets through life, but she <laughs> hates them. So what I've done here is I've done a version with zucchini. Hmm. And the only difference right with the zucchini 
is, as you slice it long, you take a spoon or maybe a melon baller and you scoop out the seeds and okay. a little bit of flesh to make a nice little channel. And again, I've stuffed it and I've overstuffed it. This is falling over, okay. the, uh, over the little channel. Well, they look delicious. Thank yeah. you very much, as Thank always. You. Uh, now, you can find the link to Charmian's very entertaining blog. It is fantastic. Check it out. And the recipe by going to our website, swo.ctv.ca, and click on links and numbers. Thanks again. Thank you. Coming up in sports, the Guelph Griffins have a new game plan to fix their struggling offense.